Hey, welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. How you doing? Hey, if you're new to the page, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. Never fall for spam. Never send money anywhere or crypto. All right. Listen, let's keep those uh, likes up. If you've been rolling with me, help to keep me alive. It's an easy thing to do. Is take your finger and smash that like button even now. Hey, let's talk about what's going on with the market. Um, uh, the Dow is up 400 points, but it's actually given back a little uh, towards the end, right? A lot of people are excited and they think the coast is clear, but this is the time to be careful. Um, let's see what Friday brings. If you had to ask me, is it going to be green or red? I would say it flat to red tomorrow, uh, but anything is possible. So one of the things I want you to look out for is uh, tomorrow. The good thing about today it being up is we actually have volume, volume behind it. So the activity is up, right? So you have a lot of people in the market that are buying these dips that is pushing it up. So it's not just fluff that's pushing it up and that's an easy uh, uh, way for it to drop. So what's happening is it was up 200 points. Let's take a look at it. Uh, I'm sorry, it was up 400 points talking about the Dow. Let's take a look at it now. As you could see, the Dow is now up 157 points. So it's actually dropping as the day goes on. You know, sometimes we have it where it pops in the morning and there's a sell off by the end of the day, right? So as we could see, the S&P is up uh, and the NASDAQ and the Russell, right? Uh, all about a half percent, uh, except the Russell was about a quarter of a, of a percent. You can see and uh, you can see where it just ramped up here. Let's make sure we're on the day. Yep. As you can see here, we're on the day. You see the trend going up and then coming down. All right. And um, let's just hope that it does not continue on this trend, this downward trend tomorrow uh, and we have a sell off, you know, because people are fearful of the weekend. I got a few notes here. I want to make sure I cover everything. Right. Uh, I already said this. The bad news is that we really need to see Friday. And and so now the Fed, actually the Fed, I said that without the S, the Fed will be talking again next week. What the Fed actually says could affect the market, and I believe it will, either negatively or positively. If they say we overstep, maybe we were a little too hawkish uh, um, with what we've been saying and we may not raise the interest rate as many times or as high as we forestated, excuse my allergies, uh, then that will be good for the market. If they say we're going to raise it three to four times, just like we said, even though they said it before, the market still could have a negative reaction off of the same old rehash news. The market is a scared 14 year old chick in a horror movie. Everything it says, ah, ah, that's what a market is when it gets like this. OK, so I want to talk about one thing about valuations. About uh, about nine months ago, I, I made a statement that a lot of traditional traders did not make money, left money on the table during a bull market because they just all about evaluations, evaluations. And I said this and this is the reason why I said evaluations on stock is like borrowing money when you invest in a high, an expensive stock. With a high evaluation, it's like you're borrowing money. When you buy stock with a low evaluation, it's like you were given the money. You were gifted the money. Meaning, if you have a stock with a low evaluation, you were gifted that money. You don't have to pay it back. But if you buy a stock with a high evaluation, you were loaned that money. And so what that means is eventually, for those of you that remember, leave a comment eventually you're going to have to pay the price for that high evaluation because in bear markets, every stock, it calls to the carpet. Okay. How much are you worth? What are your earnings? 
All of this, you get called, all of the stock get called to the market. And then if you're too expensive, boom, you take the hit, right? And then the value stock, the ones that are uh, uh, um, least expensive, those are the ones that get a pass. And that's what really does happen in the market. So if you think that evaluations does not matter, then you're missing it. But I want you to, in the next bull market, you get, you got a grace period to get away with it, but you just have to know when to exit, when to take profits and when to run. I, I suggest that if you bought stock at the top of the market that are green today, you may think about doing some uh, profit taking right now because I don't believe we've seen the bottom of the market. And I just hate to tell you that, but I'd rather you be prepared. I don't think... I don't think we're we're near the bottom yet. And I think we still have a downward trend. Right. Uh, think to yourself this. Yeah, this is another one. All right. So for those of you that are buying stock today at a higher price, because we have this bounce and you didn't buy it yesterday, then you're doing it backwards. OK, just like the Oracle said. You got to be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. I want you to think about that. If you bought a stock today when it was up and it was green, which most people do because most people are emotional traders. Why didn't you buy that same stock when it was red? I want you to think about that during this entire bear market. Is it time to start dollar cost averaging in? Yes, it is. There's a lot of stock. You got to be careful of the stock that you pick. But there are stock that you could you could and should be dollar cost averaging in if you are buying the right stock. So what happens is if you were doing a swing trade like I was doing with Neo and you get stuck. Now that swing trade becomes a long term investment. If you are a um, an investor, a five year investor, this market right here is a gift. That's the positive thing about this market. This market is a gift if you are a five year long term trader, because everything that you're buying right now, if it's a good company, is going to make money, including the Palantirs, including ChargePoint, which is showing some stability now, uh, including SoFi. These companies in five years are going to be very profitable, extremely profitable. So now what do we do, Larry? Do we load up on those right away? Nope. Me personally, I don't think we've seen the bottom. So you just start buying. You start dollar cost averaging. Uh, you're going to hear that all through this bear market. So I want you to look at those. And believe it or not, the Kathy Wood ARK, ARKK stock, the ones that's got beaten down the most, you will see a buy zone where it's time to start dollar cost averaging into those, which I have some of those in my five dollar a day uh, challenge. You know, I'm going to leave that link right here. Right. And so these are the ones that we want to look at right now. But I still want to warn you today is Thursday. OK, tomorrow's Friday. I want to warn you that just because there's a green day today does not mean it's going to be green on Friday. Anything could happen. It could be a green day. Larry is not saying it's not going to be a green day on Friday. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is this could be a dead cat bounce and it could be a red day Friday. Could. I'm not saying it is. It could. So the two things I want you to be careful for is another Friday sell off and the Fed talking next week. OK, that's what you want to do to set up these plays. And then tomorrow I will be sharing my portfolio yet again. Now, I'm going to leave by saying this about my portfolio, my five dollar a day. So far, I've only put five dollars in each stock. And I'm probably going to put another five dollars uh, into each stock tomorrow. OK, but what I'm going to do and I pro I'm probably going to do five dollars a week per stock right now. Now. Hear me out because I want you to think about this. What I'm going to do is I'm still calculating five dollars a day from the beginning of the year per stock. This is what I'm doing to show you guys. What I'm going to do is 
Once we have another hit, which I think will take a major hit, when the first interest rate hike actually takes place, then I'm going to take all of those days that I did not put into all of my stock and I'm going to put them all in. And then from there on out, I'm going to do the actual $5 a day at a week at a time. Follow? And you could do the same thing. So it's, it's like I see it. A, a lower bottom coming and I'm just cashing up right now on my $5 a day. And then, yes, you can't time the market, but soon as the Fed lets us know what is going to happen, then I can go all the way in. That's the way I'm playing mine. You could play yours the way you want to play it, or you could be, you can be putting literally $5 a day. What I suggest to make it easy for you is do it do, uh, do it based off of your pay periods. If you get paid every week, then you do your five dollar a day how, uh, according to your pay. If it's biweekly or if it's monthly, if you get paid monthly, then you just do your five dollar a day. But you do it on a monthly basis based on your pay period. So everybody's is different. But at the end of this year, at the end of next year, at the end of the year after that, by the end of 2025, you're going to see a great uh, change in your portfolios. And I, I believe you're going to be pleasantly, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised and glad that you went on this journey. And you will see the power of dollar cost averaging in and actually building financial wealth for you and your family. I'm going to cut it off right there. Make sure you check out all the links. Here's what I will tell you. Even if you don't download Weeble, um, I have a I have a link below. You can download it, deposit one dollar, get up to two stock. You're going to get two free stock and up to thirty three hundred dollars. But here's why I like Weeble because I do all my swing trading on it and I do my five dollars a day in Fidelity. You could do it with whatever broker you have, but it's easier to have your long term investing in one broker and your swing trading in another broker. And because your swing trades happen like that, it's better to have that one on your phone, something that's phone friendly, which we is. All right. I'm going to leave it right there. If you haven't hit the like button, you've been rolling with me. Go ahead and hit the like button. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Live, love, laugh and learn.